explain the panel. And uh, this is my story about how I got to kind of see both the music and uh, where it took my experience. So I was kind of 10, possibly when I was 12 years old. I had seen the people who had thought I could see things at the time before. Uh, I should have noted that out of all people who uh, got paid in HIV with my type of pedophilia, I'm the top 5% that survived. I'm the nearest child by all means. So if you're listening to this, my cousin or my sibling, my parents or whatever, you should know you're very lucky to have your mom. I'm very lucky. Um, apparently, I'm the youngest to me and my foster parents are also new. Or suspected very strongly that I had it because I about how much I did see when I tried to clean my head in and stuff like that. They really didn't suspect that they never said it out of fear of being sued because I had to see the same sort of product at their hospital in the end. Several years went by, but in 1998 I got sick again. Um, this time I was in the FDA arena and the doctor there asked me again, aren't you a, uh, you're a female? Like I can't even see it yet. And he said, well, have you ever had any blood transfusions? I said, yes. Basically, he said, have you ever been tested for FIC? I said, no, what's that? And he said, well, we're going to turn this to the test. Uh, about a week or two later, I got a phone call. And he was saying that I uh, called the doctor and they had the test results back. Normally, you're not supposed to tell you on the telephone that uh, you've got to have FIC. But in my case, I asked him, I said, listen, can you be honest with me? Tell me, do I have to get this test to be positive? The second I heard that, I just turned to Joey and I, I felt real weak, real scared, and I knew I could put it back. What happened? Basically, that's it. I had it. And I, uh, heard some adjustments. I was forced out of work. And so I could prove that, uh, basically that, uh, it wasn't contagious. Um, basically, I sucked on the ground. My livers were bad. Not too bad, but bad enough. Uh, basically, the hospital was trying to cover up the fact that uh, they didn't know that I had papers showing that my liver and spine levels were all elevated. And so they sent me some papers that they doctored up. The very same papers I had. I no longer have to go to those papers to the point of suing them. In fact, I can't sue them. It'd be a waste of time. It's a waste of my time. So if you listen to this, it's a pathetic thing against this. I don't know. Um, basically, uh, my liver is to the point where about two years ago, one day I drank a cup of ice with a good sleep. Next day I woke up, started walking, go down, started having seizures. For four months I had seizures. Every time I walked, every time I walked, it was scary. 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 I'm 